friends, welcome to Freedom in a Budget. I'm Kelly and it is Aldi grocery haul time. I have a grocery haul that I'm excited to bring to you. Well, I haven't even gone to the store yet, but I'm going to the store as soon as the rain stops. It is pouring rain here in South Florida and I'm tired of it. But I have an announcement, so please don't hate me. Please don't unsubscribe me from this announcement and I'm sure Y'all know what's coming, but or maybe a surprise. I don't know. I've had a lot of people tell me I need to do this, and then I was very against it. Very, very against it. And I know I have so many Weight Watcher friends on here, and I, you know, have been a Weight Watchers channel and everything, but Weight Watchers just has not been working for me. Let's be honest. For pretty much since freestyle, Weight Watchers has not worked for me. So I'm trying keto. Yeah, can't believe I'm saying this. I am a lover of carbs. Everyone knows how much I love carbs, but it's just, I, I need to try keto. So, Jamie and I are gonna try it. We're gonna give it our go. It's gonna be hard for Jamie, especially with how much he's on the road and traveling and everything, but there's another guy that travels with him that does keto, so hopefully they can kind of tag team and do it together when they are traveling and it'll be fine. So, I'm gonna head to Aldi, gonna do it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be different. I'm a little, you know, not sure about how this is gonna affect our grocery budget. Typically these foods are more expensive, you know, buying the meats, the cheeses, stuff like that. But, you know, I'm gonna be shopping at Aldi so I think I'll be able to do it no problem. So, just to kind of give you guys like how my week went this week and just kind of more of like a life update as well. So, last week I decided to do a no pasta challenge. I don't know what brought it on to me. I think I kind of was in the keto wanting to do it, but wanting to know if I could go without pasta, and it was hard. But I haven't had pasta in a week. Today will be one week of no pasta, and I did fine. And then, as you guys know, we are under contract on a house, and We've been waiting to get our appraisal back. And then last night we got our appraisal back and it was worst case scenario, $10,000 under what we negotiated for. So, you know, our goal is hopefully that the sellers will come down that $10,000, but it's 60 grand lower than it was originally listed for. So that's a lot. So we're not quite sure what they're gonna do if they're gonna, you know, want to put it back in the market for a cash buyer or what. So we are currently in negotiation of this and as soon as my realtor called me, the waterworks just started to come and yeah, it was not good. So Jamie and I decided to go to Miller's Ale House and eat our feelings. So we shared a mountain melt, which consists of cheese fries and boneless wings, fried wings, and a Captain Jack's hidden treasure, which is ice cream cake and hot fudge and everything you're not supposed to do. And I, I loved every second of it when I was eating it, but as soon as I got home, I felt so sick to my stomach. It was just not good. And then this morning I woke up and watched YouTube videos on keto for two hours. So a lot of research and so I'm doing keto. We're gonna try it, we're gonna give it a fresh start. Um, if you guys have any tips for me, please let them leave them down below, I'm nervous. I have a lot of questions. I'm especially nervous about Alaska and what's gonna happen on our cruise of how we're gonna eat keto for that and what's gonna happen. And if I go out of keto, am I instantly gonna get the keto flu? What is happening? Piper is being a rascal right now, sorry. So I have lots of questions. So let me know down below in the comments if you have any tips. You guys doing keto, please don't unsubscribe my Weight Watcher friends. I still love you, I'm still here for you. I still watch Weight Watcher videos because I love them and I love you guys. I love like the people behind Weight Watchers, the personalities more than the food content. So I still watch your like what I eat in a day and stuff. So love you guys. So, all right, let's get to the haul. All right guys, this is a huge haul, especially for me. I spent a total of 97.40, so almost double what I normally spend. But a lot of these are staples that will carry me through. So let's start with the non-keto. So right now, Jamie is not going to be starting keto with me. Hopefully in a couple weeks, he will catch on after I'm more into it and know the ropes. So for potluck, I did have to get this for a potluck that I committed at work, but I'm not gonna eat at it, but I still wanna contribute for them. So I'm doing um, sweet um, uh, meatballs. So barbecue sauce, grape jelly, and meatballs. Just throw those all in a crock pot, super easy. Got some bread for him for sandwiches. That is everything that's non-keto. I got some celery with that I'm gonna use with some PB2. Um, some spinach for salads. 
I'm going to roast some broccoli for veggies. I got some blueberries, two things of blueberries, so those were on sale. Got some pepperoni, regular pepperoni. These are zero carbs. So two things of those. So I'll have one at work, one for home for just snacking. Some real bacon bits. Heavy whipping cream. Got two of these. These are going to be for my coffee. I have no clue how much I'm going to need in my coffee. My goal is to do just the whipping cream and no sugar, no sweetener. Um, sorry, I'm having to kick Piper off the table. Lots and lots of cheeses. We got some parm cheese, some sharp deli cheese. This is also me for Jimmy for lunches for his sandwiches. Two things of regular cream cheese, a Colby, pepper jack, and Swiss. Some eggs. We got some oven roasted turkey breast. This was a good deal. This was two ounces for one carp. And then some rotisserie chicken. Um, this is going to be for Jamie's sandwiches, and I may have a little bit too. This is five slices for three carbs. Some unsalted butter, regular salted butter. Some pork rinds. I've never had pork rinds. I have no clue if I like them or not, but they are zero carbs. So hopefully they're delicious, but who knows? All right, Piper, you need to get down. All right, so we got some 80-20 ground beef, some cube steak, and this, this, I just realized this has marinade in it. Does it have carbs? Zero carbs, no. Okay, we're good. And then some chicken drumsticks. I'm going to have those for dinner tonight. Got some balsamic vinaigrette, olive oil, olive oil spray, pitted olives, black olives. I love black olives. Um, some cashews, unsalted, and some roasted peanuts. I know that almonds and walnuts are better for keto, but I do not like them. So the fact that I like peanuts and cashews is a stretch. So hopefully they're good and hold me over. All right, so that is my first ever keto haul. Let me know any tips that you have. I would love, love, love to hear all of your tips. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.